Great cheese. Limburger. Great. That was just great. Now just one more, one more, one more. Oh, come on, Arlo. Oh. I've already taken enough freaking pictures to fill an album. Well, I have to, Vinny. This, I'm documenting a piece of history. The day that Vinny Tuscany actually graduated from high school. Oh, thanks a lot, Big A. You actually sound surprised. Well, with your grades, I never thought this day would come. <laughs> well, you might be surprised how easily some teachers at my high school can be bribed. Oh, Vinny, you didn't have to resort to that. Well, yeah, and blackmail, but I don't really want to get into that. Oh, suddenly I'm not in the mood for celebrating. Why don't you take some more pictures? I'll make it feel better. You're right. You're, you're right. Uh, wow, it's amazing how time flies, Vincent. I remember when you were no taller than a cement goose. And you were no wider than a cement truck. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember the first time I saw you, Vinny. <laughs> You were about three, and you came up to me and asked me for $10. <laughs> oh, no, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> you are young. should have asked for 20 <laughs> oh, 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 for the, oh, for the love of Mitch, I'm out of film. Oh, well, hey, look at the time. I got a jet. Oh, well, well, well good luck with commencement. I'm so sorry I can't make it to the ceremony. My cursed supervisor, Jeffy, won't let me have any days off since I exposed his secret sauce scam. Don't sweat it, Big A. You're not gonna miss much. Just yapping and decapping. But the next time you see me, I'll be a free man. Oh, to be young and naive. <laughs> I'll catch you on the rebound, big man. And thanks for the graduation gift. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, Benny. Bye. <laughs> Ah, uh, gra graduation gift. I, I haven't given him a graduation gift. No, 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 not my wall, not my wall. Oh, Benny! Benny, my wall, Benny! do I have to tell you I wasn't going through your garbage? I've always known that you were an eyesore, a doofus, and a horrible neighbor, Wazzo. Now I can add liar to the list. I am not lying. I have an eyewitness. <laughs> Joyce, did you see this man, and I use the term loosely, pilfering through my Martha Stewart approved garbage cans? Yes, ma'am, I did. What do you have to say about that? Well, obviously, uh, Joyce is mistaken. Oh, well, <laughs> I see then. <laughs> well, Joyce, uh, I can no longer have you as my minion. Your services are no longer required and you are fired. What? What? No, wait a doggone minute! No, I cannot tolerate big fibbers not in my organization. But I wasn't lying. I would never lie to you, not after the months of brainwashing. Every word that comes out of your mouth is a fib, a dirty, dirty fib. Please, please tell her I wasn't lying. Well, I don't know. I, uh, what? Mr. Wazzo, please tell her the truth. Please tell her the truth. All right, I confess, I was going through your garbage. I knew it, I knew oh. it. Ugh. Well, see, here's the thing. I collect TV guides, and I thought you were throwing out some old TV guides, so I thought I would take a little tiny peek, right? You, sir, are a trash picker, the lowest form of all pickers. You trespass my property again, and you will be dealing with the authorities. Come on, Joyce. Does this mean I have my job back? Yes, but I am lowering your wages, and I'm dropping your dental plan. I don't have a dental plan. And you never will now. Well, this place just must be a magnet for low lives. Hey, didn't you go to charm school, lady? Actually, yes, I did. Demand a refund. <sighs> Vinny, what's this all about? This is my old man's graduation present. What are you talking about? The old man kicked me out of the house. What? When? Just after the pomp and circumstance. He said, son, you're free, white, and 18. The world is your oyster. Now get the hell out of my house. Yowza. So I threw all my clothes and porn together, and the old man escorted me to the door. Unbelievable. What did your mom say? She said, son, don't forget to write. Vinny. Vinny, I am so sorry. This is so shocking. You know, I really should have known something was up when they changed the locks on the doors. I don't know what to say. 
This really licks the glaze off my donuts. You're gonna have to face the facts, Arlo. I'm homeless, hitting the bricks, out on the street, looking for a shopping cart to call my own. Nonsense, Vincent! You have a home right here! What are you saying? I'm saying, my casa, su casa. Oh, I don't know, Arlo. Vincent, I'm not gonna let you live on the streets like a common liver on the streeter. You're like a son to me. A son I never had or wanted. Well, you just won me over, round man. So stock up on the toilet paper, because Vinnie Tuscany's moving in. Oh! <laughs> We need to talk. Arlo, I cannot hear you over my chewing. Then stop eating! Problem, eh? We need to talk about our living conditions. Well, just speaking for myself, I think things are going great except for the whole, you know, flushing issue. <laughs> that only happened once! Not according to my record. <sighs> Vinny, when you first moved in here, you promised... <laughs> you promised to help out with the bills. And I will. Just as soon as the money starts rolling in for the videos. What videos? The backyard wrestling videos I'm making with Kick Bamberger. Backyard wrestling? Mindless violence for the mindless masses. It's the new American pastime. And uh, when did you make these videos? Uh, <clears throat> well, we haven't exactly made them yet. But once we do, watch out. We'll be crapping cash. Uh, Vinny, I need your crapping cash now. Since you moved in, the electric bill has gone up. The phone bill has gone up, the grocery bill has gone up, the gas bill has gone up, and I don't even have gas! Well, somebody's living in denial. I, uh, uh, we'll have to talk about this later. My support group's here. Support group? You belong to a support group? Yes! Let me guess. Overeaters Anonymous. No, Dreamers Denied, a group for struggling and often rejected artists. And I better get that before they think I rejected them. That's fine. You can let them in. But I am not sharing my chips with anybody. <laughs> well, I think everybody's here, so I guess we can get started. As you know, I'm Arlo. Hello, Arlo. Hello, Arlo. And I am honored to be hosting our group tonight. Like you, I am a dreamer denied. Hello, Arlo. Hello, Arlo. Before we get started, I'd like to introduce a special guest to our group tonight. He's my roommate, Vinny Tuscany. Hello. Hello. Greetings, peeps. Thanks for allowing me to wallow in your misery and get a few laughs. I guess we should start with some introductions. Joyce, could you go first? I was watching with one eye on the other side. Hello, I'm Joyce, and I'm an aspiring opera singer. And I'm a dreamer denied. I had 15 people telling me to move. I got moving on my mind. I'm DeBase, a performance artist, and I'm not afraid to say, a creative genius. I found shelter in some dust turning wheels around. Hello, 
up, gang? I'm Beige, and I'm a local actress. I'm also the star of Simply Beige, a fab show on public access. Check your local listings. Times vary. I'm Mel Frapp. I carve things out of soap. Mostly ducks. Sometimes geese, but mostly ducks. I'd like to make some money on my carvings. Maybe someday. Well, it's one, two, three, four, take the elevator at the hotel. You're the house, glad to see you later. I'm Clyde. This is Arnett. We came for the free food. Get out! Man, these 12 step types sure are getting uppity. I told you we should have went to AA. Yeah. All they got inside is they can see. Well, it looks like Rupert and Marla aren't going to make it, so I guess we can get started. Uh, who would like to begin? Do you mind if I go first? The floor is yours. This past week has been very hard on me. I almost got fired from my job, and creatively, it's been much worse. This is how the sob fest starts. Not with a bang, but with a whimper. Little Miss Pitiful here starts her dollarama with her tales of misery and woe. Get this. She wants to be an opera singer. It's been my life's passion. Ever since I was a wee lass, I wanted to be on stage and to sing the opera. An opera singer in Waffleville? Get a clue, lady. It ain't gonna happen. If someone would just give me a chance, a chance to show what I'm capable of, a chance to sing, to sing those beautiful words, those beautiful and tragic words, but no one will give me a chance. And here comes the tissue. This is not only a cue for the tears, this is also Chunky A's opportunity to stand up and say, Do you need a hug? No. No, thank you. That's not necessary. Well, of course it ain't. She's too busy embracing her own self-pity. Anyway, Madam Butterfly prattles on for a few more, and then this dude begins. It's all about the man. The man is keeping us down. I don't know what this guy's problem is, but I think it has a little something to do with it. The man! The man hates the artistic community, especially we who toil on the avant-garde. And do you know why? Does it have something to do with excess body It's order? because we challenge the status quo. We bring new ideas to the table. A feast for the unformed and the unimaginative. We open our hands to offer salvation, and the man slaps it away. Is it just me, or is the pretension getting just a little thicker? Take this last week. My guerrilla theater group was performing a piece involving cattle prods and sheep heads, and the man shut us down. And do you know why? Well, you were nude and causing a public disturbance according to the paper. Never believe the media. They are liars, the tools of the man. And then AAA says, You need a hug. Sit down, fat man. You're embarrassing yourself. I think my problem is I'm overexposed. Oh, do tell. Well, you see, I'm known to almost every person crossing the Civics Threshold. I've acted in numerous plays, done local cable commercials, and I'm also the star of Simply Beige, a fab show on public access. Check your local listings. Time's very. So you see, I'm a major local celebrity, and many people resent me for that. It's super sad, really, but I so understand it. I mean, if I wasn't me, and I saw me, like, everywhere, I would be jealous, too. Seriously. And then Do you need a hug? You skipped my line. Why? You jumped my line. Look, I'm supposed to say, uh -huh. and then Triple A says, uh -huh. and then you get up. Uh-huh. Oh! Oh, oh Vinny, I'm sorry. I, do you want to do it over? We can do it over. We can do uh... No time. Gotta move on to the man called Frat. You can just call me Mel. That's the name I use to sign to my ducks. Frat makes ducks out of soap. Do you use any particular types of soap? I use all types of soap, though I stay away from liquid soap. It's really hard to carve a duck out of liquid soap. But it could be done? It could be done. Could be, but I just don't have those particular talents. Do you need a hug? Hour after hour, I listen to these sob sister stories. A virtual parade of elephant crap. No one will give me a chance. The man is ashamed of my body. Every audition is becoming painful. When I tried out for Raisin in the Sun, they practically laughed me off the stage. Well, you can't really freeze liquid soap. It messes up your ice trays. Do you need a hug? So could you really blame me when... 
All right, that's it. I've had enough. Vincent, do you have something to add? Yeah, you people are a bunch of friggin' losers. Vincent! All you do is sit around and whine and pout and complain. It's no wonder that nobody takes you lump seriously. You're a bunch of diaper mess and cry baby. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. Vincent Tuscany, you, you apologize. Wait a minute, Arlo. Your ill-mannered ruffian may have a point. What? This group is all about talk, communication. But are we really accomplishing anything with our patter? You're not doing jack first base. You're just drowning in your own misery. Oh, really? Well, what would you suggest we do? I say the time for talk is over. I say that if someone denies your dreams, well then you stand up and take action. I say it's time to fight back. I say that if the world kicks you in the butt, just kick it back. Just more harder and with pointier shoes. He's right. We need to stand up for our dreams and for my acting career. And smite our enemies to take it to the man. Dreamers, uh, dreamers, I think we all need to step back and be positive. This type of rhetoric is not gonna get us anywhere! You see, Arlo agrees with me. Less talk, more action. Now, who's with me? We are! Then let's go! Wait! 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 Come back! Come back! I have hugs! I have hugs! I have hugs for everyone! Ah! to the man and shook our fist. We are so wicked. Well, I called the rummage show lady and just as she answered and said hello, I hung up. I really showed her. I threw rocks to every director in town and I made Fredericks cry. That, that's horrible! What's wrong with you people? You don't solve your problems with violence and vandalism. Spare us the lecture and guilt trip, man. <laughs> We have been enlightened. And we owe it all to Vinny. He has shown us the way. And next week he promised to teach us how to make soup! He's returned! Our glorious leader! Benson! What do you think you're doing? What does it look like? I'm rearranging your furniture. Turn my group into an angry mob. You let them out into riot. And now you're interior decorating? Not in my house, mister! Table to talk, Tubby. They'll be here any second. Who? This is the police. Come out. Put your hands off. Vincent, what did you do now? We have the place surrounded. <laughs> uh, long story short, I pissed off some cops. We know you're in there. Come out now and avoid some painful kicks to the groin. That, that sounded a bit too serious. What are we going to do? 
Don't worry, gang. I'm sure Vinny knows what to do. So what's the plan, fearless leader? Do we cower like dogs or stand and fight like braver dogs? Well, uh, we could, um... Yes? yes. Uh, or, you know, we really should, um... Uh-huh. Yeah. But, you know, what it really boils down to is, uh... Yes? I really gotta talk to Big A. Now everyone, everyone, back up. There's nothing to see here. Help me! What? You gotta help me. You gotta help me. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Vinny, what do you expect me to do? Wave my arm, say a magic word, and make the cops disappear? You can do that? No. Well, thanks a lot for getting my hopes up. Okay, okay, okay. Serious time, Vincent. You have to turn yourself in. There is no other way out of this. Are you nuts? Look at me. I'm too pretty to go to prison. Now you gotta think of something to make this better. Vinny, I wanna help you, but I see no what? other way. Please, please don't. You're gonna help me understand. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll go talk to the cops. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, thanks. The rest of you stay here. I'm not trying to get you out of this mess. Everybody likes to Officers! <laughs> I can explain. Hey, <laughs> you just want to... <laughs> Screw it! I'm glad you put a new tape in.